It's early enough in the season. We can probably fix it. Ah, oh, we got paired against in the safe. <laughs> uh, if you don't know why that's funny, chat, uh, Nasif is also in this tournament. So there is a very good chance he is also done with his round. And uh, <laughs> and jamming games in between. That is that is mildly humorous, I'll be honest. Mildly, mildly humorous. All right. Off you go, Gab. Off you go. Saltai? Are we a Saltai gamer, Gab? Is that what's going on? Gonna shock and cast a 2 2 stone coil. Mm -hmm. I think we can afford to wait on the Thought Seize until we have a little bit of board pressure. So that's what we're gonna do. Looking like a Saltai gamer to me, Gab. I'm so disappointed. So very disappointed, but fair enough. I, I don't blame him. Dex, Dex pretty good. Does Thought sees me, sees the, the situation. Takes one of my Thought Seizes. That's a good draw for me, so let's fire this off. Uh, I would like to take this Fatal Push away, Gab. I'm just, I hate to be that guy, but I would really prefer that to not be a, a card that you have. Like, just saying. It's a nice Ether Gust, though. We can do our best to play around that. Uh, we can tack this in tapped. Grab this Lurus and do some more punchy punchy. Does Gust the Pelt Collector. I will respectfully decline keeping that on top of my deck. Dead. That was nice and fast. Three matches remaining in the tournament, though. Saltai, Saltai. Well, we established how we were boarding against this one last round, so let's just do the same. Uh, pop in the Shape of Sanctuaries and the Noxious Graphs, cut these Blood Chief's Thirsts and three Conclave Mentors. The infamous Yellow Watt. Nothing like playing against Hall of Famers. Feels, feels good, man. Hopefully this isn't a sign of like things to come and like I can beat Gab now and can't beat him later. That would suck. Can't keep this, unfortunately. One lander is just not remotely keepable. Alright, well we can keep a five. It's definitely the swamp. I think it's the scavenging ooze. Close though. Definitely close. Was half expecting to get thought seized on a uh, on one there and be like I'm on a four, which is you know roughly how you want things to go. Draw a shape of sanctuary. That's not a bad one, but it's gonna have to wait just a second. Uh, expecting the fatal push doesn't look like it's coming. So basically just want uh, untapped land at this point in time, so we can Sanctuary into 2-drop, probably the Snake. Probably the Snake. It's kind of terrifying knowing how many people are watching this match. There's like five here and several hundred over there. It's... <laughs> it's <laughs> Okay, untapped land is good. Untapped land is definitely good. Let's sanctuary. See if Gab bites and kills a creature in response. Definitely in the tank about it. Does indeed fail push the pelt collector. Alright, snake. Snakey boy. Load up on this aspirant. Three.
Nice. Expecting a growth spiral here a good, good amount of the time? Nope. All right, at least we have to hope there is no extinction event. Extinction event or like languish. Both of those are, are rather painful for us right now. Yeah, did not want to see that one. Makes sense, but obviously didn't want to see it. Let's cast this aspirant and uh, let it start putting counters on itself. Little teeny bit unfortunate, but that's okay. Still three mounds remaining by the looks of it. Does have the Nissa. We thankfully drew a Maelstrom Pulse, so we're not just completely cold to that one. Obviously have to try and do this. If there's like an ether gust, I will probably just concede in response. Does does resolve. All right. No attacks from this aspirin just yet. Needs to try and get just a little bit bigger. Second Nissa is unfortunate. Not a ton we can do about that. Does eliminate and let us draw a card in response. Another pulse is uh, probably too late. I'm just staring down six power. Well, do what we gotta do, I guess. Take six, got a four. We are, for all intents and purposes, still alive. It's just not not a good situation. No creature over there. Does have the eliminate. That will be good enough. All right, game three it is. See if we can take game three off the monster that is Magic Hall of Famer Gabriel Nassif. Let's run it back. We will run it back. One match remaining for the, the tournament, so I'm sure we'll be underway with uh, with the next round pretty pretty soonish, I'd have thought. I'll almost certainly hop over and say GG's after this match anyway. Both of these games have been pretty cool. I've enjoyed playing them. And it will uh, fill that time out, hopefully, before the start of round two, which should not be too far away if... Uh, that one remaining match wraps up quickly. It's always a bit dangerous with these kind of events. Like, you want to play ladder in between rounds, but um, there's, like, clearly only one match remaining, but there's also 18 minutes left on the clock. So it's kind of hard to know, like, if you can risk it kind of thing. Thankfully, we did get paired against someone who is in the same event as us uh, on, on the ladder, which makes for a very unique scenario of if we have to concede, we understand. <laughs> it's not... Not the end of the world. Uh, this is fine. We can keep this. Not stellar or anything. A little bit unexciting, but fine. Knight of the Ebon Legion. Shocks for Thoughtseize? Yeah, I didn't really want to see that. Not the end of the world, but didn't really want to see that. The plan here, in case you're not you haven't watched the deck play before, was to shock ourselves and Thoughtseize on turn two, so the knight grows. Uh, and if the Thoughtseize doesn't get taken, we will almost certainly still do that. Gab in the tank, clearly a tough decision. Oh, Gabe, never change. Never change. Does take the inscription. We draw ourselves a winding constrictor. 
Um, that actually might change my line. I kind of want to maximise my mana every turn. I only really get punished by another Thought Suit, which would admittedly not be ideal. Okay, I think that is slightly better. I'm going to cast the Ooze. Gab knows about the Ooze. I'd rather hold on to the snake until I can at least get some value from it. Does pass the turn, we draw ourselves a Blooming Marsh. I am going to move to combat. See if Gab wants to burn a removal spell before we, we connect, or whether they want to stay safe from Knight of the Ebon Legion. Only attacking for three here, so sadly the knight is not going to grow just yet. We'll just move to damage if they'll let us. Nice. That's Thought Seize. There's a chance I should have shocked this turn. Does eliminate in response. Sure. Chance I should have shocked to grow the knight. Thankfully the knight died anyway, so we'll obviously take the crisis here. Cast a constrictor and say go. Gab knows the last card in our hand. To be Godless Shrine. Does play the land he drew for turn, which is pretty cool. So let's uh, shock ourselves. And there is two creatures I can eat, which I probably just eat both to push damage, honestly. Attack for eight here, put gap to four. Ding. No, that's, that's a, a nice feeling. I gotta be honest. Winning that kind of game feels real good. I'm gonna hop on over to Gab's stream real quick just to say GG's.